Let's look now at policy initiatives. So here we are on portal.azure.com. We're going to click the menu button and we'll just go to all services and just do a search for policy. So there it is, policy. We'll go there. All right. And so once we get into policy, we can look at our definitions here. And uh, from there, you'll see just existing policy definitions and there's also initiatives as well. Now the initiatives are nothing more than just a group of uh, policies. You can tell this to sort by just initiatives and you can see some of the various uh, initiatives that are available. Okay, Or if you want to create one where you can kind of pick and choose what policies you want to group together in the initiative, you would do that right here. So I would click that and then I would give it a name. Let's just call this uh, auditing uh, initiative all right uh, and then from there specify if you wanted to specify a category for it to be a version number that you want to give it and that would just be for your own internal records and then uh, from there I would add my policies so I uh, would choose whatever policy definitions that I want to use okay so if I just like search the word audit uh, maybe I want to do this one, and I'll do that one, and we'll say that one there. Okay, so those three. Okay, I'm going to add those, and then uh, click next. You can also have groups to help group. If you got a huge amount of, uh, of policies you're doing here, you want to group them together, you can do that here. It's kind of weird because really what an initiative is is just a group of policies, but you can have groups within the groups, and that's the idea there. You can also, if you click next here, you can create, if, if you had a lot of policies and you had to answer the same uh, questions over and over and over for some of the parameters, you can create what are called uh, initiative parameters that you can just, you'll always have these answers available to you. So that's what this is here. You'll see what I mean when we go to this next page here. So right here, if there's any parameters that have to be answered, you would, um, you would answer those there, okay? In this case, there is no parameters that needed to be answered. Let's uh, let's see if we can add one. Let's see if we go back and search for audit. Uh, okay, let's add this one. I believe, yeah, I believe that one's going to require us to have a parameter answered. So if we go back over here, yeah, so you can see here that is a parameter. It's wanting answered. Um, and so the parameter is include ARC connected servers. So it's asking if this is something it needs to check for, if, if are connected servers. Right now, the default value is set to false, but if you wanted to change that to true, you could. At that point, you would click Review and Create, and then click Create. And then um, once that's created, all you got to do then is if you wanted to assign the initiative, you can, uh, you can very easily assign the initiative. Okay. Um, so I would go up here to Review and Create, uh, and I could go ahead and uh, assign that out. All right, and it, it works just like uh, policies do. You'll have compliance and all that against your uh, devices. It takes time, just like with compliance, with just like with policies. So again, instead of just doing one policy, you're doing a group of policies, and that's the idea of a initiative. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.